Hey guys, D Plant here, and today I am going to do another plant update. Um, so I moved some plants and I got a couple new plants, so yeah. Um, okay, let's get started. Uh, where should we start? From? Okay, let's start from down here. Uh,. This one is my Drosera spathulata. Uh, I think it's Drosera sp spathulata, but I'm not sure. So if you guys know what this sundew is, just tell me um, in the commentary below. So yeah, it's sundew on it. And so I'm live spagging them. That, it, that grew like randomly, so yeah. Back here. This is my Drosera capensis. Um, it's a typical form, so yeah. Uh, it caught many flies and ants, so it's doing well. And I'm not sure if it's gonna put a flower stalk or not, so I will keep you guys updated. Uh, this is my Saracenia scarlet bell. Um, it's a cultivar between uh, Leocophila and Cetacina. Cetacina, I'm sorry. So, uh, once that pictures, um, I will keep you updated as the other one. Um, this is my Nepenthes ventricosa, and I think this is ventricosa. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. So, if you guys know what this Nepenthes is, um, please tell me in the commentary below. Yeah. This is my Nepenthes spatulata by Ovada. Um, it hasn't made any pictures yet, um. Now, its growth point was broken off and twisted and everything during the big wind. Um, it was somewhere in February, I guess, and it, it blew off my pinguicula, that I, the mystery pinguicula. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, it killed that pinguicula, and it also cracked this leaf off, And but uh, there's another growth point uh, sticking out, so yeah. Um... This is my Saracenia purpurea. Those are both purpureas. Um, well, I'm not exactly sure if it's purpurea because I just got it as a, a grow kit. Um, yeah. So I wonder what those are. I just potted them with a long fibered sphagnum moss and peat moss. This, these are my. Dionea muscopolas. Um, I'm pretty sure they are the typical form. So, if you guys can identify it right now, just tell me um, in the commentary below. <coughs> my my voice <coughs> is sore. So, yeah. Well, not my voice is sore. My throat is sore. So I can't really talk. Oh shoot. Okay. Um, this is my Nepenthes sanguinea. Um, it's really big. It has to be at least a foot. Uh, oh yeah, the basil has made a tiny pitcher. Well, it's big for its size. Um, it looks like Singolana for some reason, but it's Sanguinea. Um, it ate a roly poly. If you haven't watched the the feeding tutorial. Um, Go check that video out in, in the description below, so yeah. Uh, what else? What else? Okay. Nothing else in the greenhouse. Uh, let it focus first. This is my Nepenthes alata. Um, all the pictures died off in winter because it slowed down growth and stopped growing. Like, it made massive climbing vines. Um, let's see. Oh, I leaf, I vine cutted this one. I gave it to my teacher. So yeah, it's I think I think it's doing well in um, the class. I'm not sure. Well, I am sure, but whatever. Um, it has made at least two basil sprouts. So and they're growing big really fast. Uh, for independence a lot of. This is my mother of thousands cactus plant. Um, the roots are starting to, you know, go underneath the pot, and it's it's really pretty, I guess, because 
it was a purple tint on the really top. So yeah. Um, now let's go move inside. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, now I'm inside the house, the, in the kitchen counter. This is my orchid I bought in the flea market. Uh, I don't know the species, so if you guys know it, you can type it in the description below. These two blooms um, died off, and this one did, I guess. But there's new. Oh, hold on, this one's opening, and this one's dying off, and these are all opening. So, yeah, they're gonna look pretty. Uh, it only has one, two, three, four, seven leaves, so it's pretty big, I guess. Uh. This is my bamboo plant I got in the, you know, in TS Emporium or something. And this is my sister's cactus terrarium. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, click the like and subscribe button. And, yeah. Bye.